sorry for the mess. I have so many SSAT books and study guides. If I want to get into the boarding school of my dreams, I have to get a perfect score. Looks fine to me. Okay, so I have all these different vocabulary books out here. That helps the most, okay, Sophie? Sophie? Oh, sorry, okay, work now. Open to chapter five. The words will be on there with definitions. Okay, here's a word. Play kid. That's a weird word. Placid, calm, peaceful. Placid, right. Asketic. Haven't heard that word before. Ascetic. Since when did you become so bad at vocab? Never mind. Just go on to the next one. I know this one. Audacious. Olivia, I'm bored. Can we, like, study for the cultural history test on Wednesday? No, I have to study vocabulary. Fine. <sighs> Benevolent. Benevolent. OK. Be. On second thought, maybe we should study for that test. Okay. Do you want me to quiz you on facts? Fine. So, when was the Great Wall built? 210 BC. Correct. And did you know that that is the only man-made structure visible from space? Sophie, don't you ever listen in class? That fact was proven wrong ages ago. No. Yes. No. Sophie, it's been proven that it's not the only one visible. No. It says right here on ask.com. The Great Wall of China is also the only man-made structure visible from space. Sophie, you can't believe what the internet says. And everyone knows you can't trust that site. Whatever. Sophie, you need to start becoming more responsible about sources you use and being attentive in school. Why? It's just eighth grade. So? Just because it's eighth grade doesn't mean it doesn't matter. Oh, you take things way too seriously. Sophie, you thought that the Great Wall of China was the only man-made structure visible from space. But the internet said it. Do you really think everything on the internet is true? It has to be true. It's illegal to put a lie on it. And where did you learn that? The internet. <sighs> Sophie, it's a lie just by saying that the internet can't have any lies. You always doubt me, Olivia. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't take anything seriously. You're supposed to help me study. Are you kidding? I'm such a good friend. What? You've always known that. You just don't want to accept it. Sophie, I have always been there for you. And what have you done for me? Everything, obviously. You wouldn't even get into boarding school if it weren't for me helping you. Gosh, be more considerate, Olivia. Ever since kindergarten, I have been here for you. And then, in fifth grade, you had to wreck everything by telling everyone I liked Adam Jones. Everyone! So? Just because there was a small misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Couple... You publicly humiliated me. On purpose. Well, ever since the beginning of this school year, you haven't spent any time with me. All you ever do is study, study, study. Well, I'm sorry I want to get somewhere with my life. I'm like, you. Are you really going to go there? What? You don't and won't have to work for anything in your life. Your parents have enough money. You don't even have to go to school. Heck, you could get a personal tutor and travel the world if you wanted to. Well, obviously, you're just jealous of what you don't have. I'm jealous? You're the one who's jealous. At least I have brains. Well, well, you're just trying to leave me. What? All year, all you've done is study, and I've been all alone. How could someone like you be alone? You have tons of friends. They aren't as important to me as you are. What? You haven't spent any time with me, and the only reason I can think of why is that you want to get away from me. I'm not trying to get away from you. I just have so many people I have to please. My parents, teachers, boarding schools. I guess I haven't had much time to spend with you. I just don't want you to go. If I miss you now, then I'm definitely going to miss you when you leave. I've been doing everything I can to try to get your attention to tell you that I don't want you to leave. So are you saying that you knew those words before? That you were just trying to make me think studying was a bad idea? I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything else to do. You've been so busy lately, you haven't had any time to hang out with friends, have any fun, or see anyone. I'm sorry, too. You know what? Why don't we take a break from studying and relax? We may not have much time together, but we should make the most of what we do have. That sounds great. I'm going to miss you, Olivia. No matter where we are, promise we'll still be best friends. Promise. Do you want to know something on the internet that's not a lie? OK. Adam Jones just updated his relationship status on Facebook. And he's single. If you ever find
myself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see 